What's cracking, peeps? T Money standing outside the Heezy. It's pretty breezy. Smoking a greasy, staring at a wheezy. Not my wheezy, but a wheezy. Figured I'd give you guys a little taste of some VT. Um, wilderness, well, rugged terrain, winter wonderland. We had a solid snowfall today, nothing too crazy, but uh, a little bit more than a dusting, I would say. Um, so I'm outside, uh, well, smoking a greasy, getting ready to do a video to show you guys my collection complete. Not, excuse me, it's not the, it, the complete collection, but it is a collection uh, of my Scorpion films. Uh, and also I have a few from Scorpion slash Kino, Scorpion in conjunction with. So anyway, we'll get inside and do that in a sec. But first, I want to give you guys, um, I need, I need you. I need you guys to go on a journey with me to get some wood for my wood stove because I got to be in the right frame of mind after a long day's work before I do these videos. So, um, yeah, let's go. We'll, we'll take a little tour, descend into the darkness, um, get a little idea of, well, you might be wondering whose footsteps those are, but T-Money's got a plan things out, you know, before he starts filming, so, um, sorry, I don't like referring to myself in the first person, so I'll stop that, but whoa, I almost tripped, and, um, yeah, so this is the backyard, untouched, I know the camera's shitty, but that's what I got to work with, so, yes, uh, about that, let's go get some, get some wood for my stove, so I can cozily film a video, I've got a, uh, jimmy rigged a uh flashlight because i can't find my headlamp so i have a flashlight jimmy rigged to my chest here on my sweatshirt um otherwise i wouldn't be able to see shit back here but so yeah i'm gonna grab some wood this is where it all goes down guys the legendary trap door this is where blair witch project was actually filmed and beyond that door what's beyond the door Sorry, it's getting dark because I uh, strapped up, but let's see. That, my friends, is the back of the basement. And so when I film, it's like beyond that treadmill, right in front of that. So you're actually looking back with me. And that window down there up front, that's like right the window. I film right in front of that window. So see if you guys can put it together. But anyways... We need to get some wood. We were supposed to get a, a cord delivered and the dude never showed up, so. We are pretty hit mode right now for wood. All right, so let's grab this wood, get this fire going, get inside. I'll, uh, you guys don't need to watch me do this, but, but I'll see you guys inside. I'm gonna eat some food and then I'm gonna film my update for Scorpion. My Scorpion Films complete collection, so stay tuned for that, guys. Catch ya soon. Later. Dudes. I'm about to fucking kill this. Yo, what's cracking, peeps? T-Money, back with you. Doing the little swivel rotator chair. I just want to show you guys. We got it cracking. Oh. Up in La Casa del Love. So... Yeah. Without further ado, let's get into this update now, right guys? <clears throat> Enough with the fake intros and gimmicks. So, T-Money up in the heezy, here to do my Scorpion slash Kino Lorber collection overview. I'm going to show you guys my Scorpion DVDs, my Scorpion Blu-rays, and my Scorpion slash Kino Lorber Blu-rays um, that they did together in conjunction with each other, like... Um, I don't know, there's like a few releases that I have of those. So let's get right into this. I'm gonna start with the DVDs. So first up from Scorpion, I have The Day After Halloween, which was just released, I think, by Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, someone put it out on Blu-ray. I think it was them. Um, Silent Scream, which was just released. Uh, this is a great, like, kind of, what, like, proto-slasher film. Um, frightening fan pleaser, a real chiller. 
Uh, it's a good film, though. They just released this on... They upgraded to Blu-ray, so I recommend you pick that up. Uh, this hasn't even been opened yet, and I actually haven't seen this film. Ed and His Dead Mother starring Steve Buscemi, so ooh, there's some kitty hairs and dust on this. Uh, I haven't whipped this one out in a while, but got to check it out. Well, ever. It's sealed, but... Um, this one's got... What's his name in it? Um, doo -doo -doo, a Michael Ironside. I think he's the, like, psychotic killer. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen that. Honestly, don't even remember it. Uh, I never opened this just because I bought it from a collector when it was out of print. For more than I'd like to admit. And then they got a Blu-ray, so I watched the Blu-ray. Uh, and so this is still sealed. But I do have a copy of Zombie Nightmare. And was it Code Red that ended up putting out Zombie Nightmare anyway? I think they, uh, Walt gave it to, to, um, his brother. I'm not sure, though. Bill, um... And then we have Dr. Death, which was also re-released on Blu-ray by, um, Scorpion. Or was it Code Red? No, it was Scorpion. Uh, and then we have an awesome slasher starring Wings Hauser, uh, The Carpenter. I really love this film. I recommend everybody check this out. Hopefully we get a Blu-ray of it, but it's a lot of fun. He plays a great little psychotic killer in that one. Um, then we have, I think they just put this out, uh, The Devil's Men and... Terror, maybe not actually. There, there was a recent double feature, but uh, Donald Pleasance is in one of these films too. Um, but yeah, good stuff. Peter Cushing is in it. I yeah, um, I love the double features that Scorpion puts out. Uh, another great one, Body Melt. Um, has this had a re-release? I don't even know on Blu-ray. I think I own a Blu-ray of it, but I don't think it's a Code Red release. Um, then we have The Hearse, which was just put out uh, in excellent form from Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, this is an okay film. I enjoy it, actually. I love anything like with the theme of a hearse, uh, I'm down for. So I enjoy the film, though. Cool. Uh, another great one, The Incubus. Uh, this is like one of the first Scorpion films I picked up. Good film. Um, and that's it for the DVD. So now we'll get into the uh, Kino Lorber slash... Um, in conjunction with, I have to say that always, Scorpion releases. Awesome film. Uh, one of Mar Is it Mario Bava's last film? Um, it's a good one, though, nonetheless. Uh, Planet of the Vampires, a lot of fun. Highly recommend this one. Uh, so So Slasher, written by the star of House on, uh, last House on the Left, David something, right? Um, David Hess, yeah. I love David Hess, actually. Uh, it's not bad. He directed this one, Santa Claus Slasher. Um, I like it. To all a good night. You know, you got to be a slasher lover to really appreciate that one, I think, though. Um, next up, Sorceress. A little fun, sorted sandals. Cheese ball flick. Um, cool release, too. And again, these are all Kino Lorber. Um, or wait, is this pure? This is, I'm sorry. So this one is pure Scorpion. Kino is not involved in this. So I got a little unorganized because I have my Scorpions on racks like this. And once I ran out of space... I started just putting them like in random spots, uh, so I need to like kind of pool everything together again, because I'm sure I'm missing things in this haul. I honestly probably should have taken a little bit more time to prepare uh, for this one, but nonetheless, good film. So I do apologize. I will try and tell you when it's Kino as well. This is Pure Scorpion right here, uh, girly. So not everything is going to be like um, it's just all random now. I'll just let you know as I go. Uh, awesome, awesome release. Um, I actually got another one of these sent in the mail too. I think they were giving them away, uh, to customers during like the holiday season last year. I can't remember what it was, but I definitely got an extra copy of this, which I ended up trading to Abby. So shout out to you, buddy. Um, and if you watch my videos, I don't know if you do, <laughs> but, um, Abby from Body Bags. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, the Sinister One. Sorry, dude. Shout out to you. Sinister One. Um, so many names, but so few friends, so I remember yours. Um, so anyway, good, good, really good film. If you don't have the Vinegar Syndrome version, I recommend either one. They're both good, um, and it's a great film. Love it. Uh, next up, awesome little sci-fi film starring the dude from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. He's the soldier dude in, like, all those movies. He has the exact same role. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, Ray Wise is in it. Um, R. Lee Ermey. Um, yeah, but this was really fun. I actually experienced this movie for the first time via this release from Scorpion. And it's a great, great one. Great Blu-ray from Scorpion. One of my favorites, actually. Uh, Flavia the Heretic. Heretic. This is pure Scorpion as well. Um, it's 
Sorry, I was just checking to see if it was a Kino Lorber release, too. Um, new one from Scorpion, uh, starring Jennifer Conley. I haven't had a chance to watch this yet. Uh, Seth, if you're watching, my apologies. I know I said I was going to. And I will. I just got it tied up. So, uh, But I got to check it out. Love Jennifer Conley. Uh, a little play on Agatha Christie's Ten Little Indians. Uh, nice release. This is a newer one as well from 1974. <laughs> just threw that in there because I happened to see it. Starring my man, Christopher George. I love this movie. I love Christopher George. Pieces is like my favorite movie. One of them. Um, but this one's good. You know, uh, wild animal, animal attack, grizzly type killer movie. You know what I mean. It's fun though. I enjoy it for sure. I had the DVD. I don't know where that went. Did I sell it? I can't remember. Um, <laughs> sorry guys. I got a wicked sore throat. I'm not feeling so hot tonight, but... Uh, seizure, last one up here from Scorpion, so who's in this? I haven't seen this movie, to be perfectly honest. That guy looks super familiar in the back. Doesn't he look like a, he looks like Mr. Bean, kind of. <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend like I wasn't just running out of steam there. I had to pause it and take a break. Too much filming for me, guys. Okay, so let's finish this up. So, uh, Seizure was the last movie that I showed. Next up is a newer one, excuse me, from Scorpion, uh, Night of the Cobra Woman, one that I want to see but I have not seen yet, so very cool. Um, next up, we have one starring Judy Geeson, Goodbye Gemini. This was put out probably, what, two years ago now? I think it was a limited release. Most of these are limited, but I think, yeah, they might still be available. Just for the record, you can get um, Scorpion releases, if you don't know, from ScreenArchivesEntertainment.com, uh, from Bill at Code Red's website, and from Diabolic DVD. Those are the main places. There may be a few others. Um, Amazon now, too, some of their stuff, so really cool. But uh, next up, we have The Rain Killer. Not a bad film. Enjoyable. Oh, we've got good old Chuck Norris and Lee Van Cleef in The Octagon fun action flick I actually really like that movie uh, again we have Christopher George his beautiful wife uh, Linda Day and we have an amazing performance uh, well a questionable a good performance from Leslie Nielsen but he plays a real prick in this one um, but it's fun I love this movie one of my favorite releases from Scorpion Death Ship sorry I gotta stop bumping the table I gotta step back um this is one of the best. George Kennedy, love this, like, Nazi ghost ship type movie. Really, really cool deaths in this. Highly recommend it. Next up is just a fucked up film, Spasmo. Um, yeah, love it, love it. Uh, so So Slasher from 1987, Strip to Kill. Uh, we've got a cool, like, island killer fucking claws, clam, um, what do they call these? I want to call it Island Exploitation, but Killer Clam, Killer Sea Monster Flick, I guess. Next up, we have kind of an oddball release, <laughs> Teen Witch, but it's a good one, funny. Comedy from the 80s, late 80s. Uh, Killer Fish, another one, kind of in the vein of like uh, Something Way to the Dark. Well, I haven't showed you that one yet. Island Claws, those type of movies. Roger Corman-esque. Uh, really love the atmosphere in this one. Tower of Evil, highly recommend it. This one stars the beautiful Barbara Bach. Um, huge, huge fan of this movie. Um, she's just so sexy. Uh, and I love the cast in this. You've got Joseph Cotton, Richard Johnson, Mel Ferrer, Cameron Mitchell. I just love it. It's like a, um... Kind of like a science fiction sci or a science fiction sci-fi, sci-fi sci meets creature feature type film uh, about a scientist who creates like these sea monsters and that sort of thing. Uh, it's really good. Uh, killer dog flick, dogs, baby. Doctor Death, great performance from the guy who plays uh, John Considine. He's passed now, I think, but. Uh, excellent performance from him as Dr. Death. Kind of an oddball film. Um, probably my favorite 
one of my tied with one other that I'm that's coming up for my favorite Scorpion uh, releasing release is The Unseen. I love this movie so much, starring again the beautiful Barbara Bach, and the guy who plays. So it's about this like deformed mutant child that is kept in the basement of this Victorian mansion, and these girls take refuge there. Something happens; they have to stay there, and. Um, they're basically fed to, not exactly, but like, uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but the, the, the beast child has a ball, has his way, uh, with the women. And then there's this amazing climax in the basement. It's just really good. I love the, I love the whole vibe of this film. It's a lot of fun. So 1980, probably my favorite tied with one other for Scorpion's releases. Uh, then we have City on Fire, action exploitation film, fantastic cover artwork there. Uh, it's for, it's also stars Leslie Nielsen, and um, it is from 1979. Then we have another cool one, uh, The Passage, kind of like an, in the I think during World War II or something about a not. It's a great film. Um, yeah, check it out. I'm drawing a blank, but it's the atmosphere in it is great. It takes place in like the mountains. Um, what's the mountains that it takes place in? Do, 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 the Pyrenees, I think. Like, yeah, I mean the atmosphere in this, the rugged wilderness in this film is awesome. So, chuck it out. Next up, this is the reversible cover artwork. Uh, this is Blazing Magnum, also known as. Ah, uh, it's gonna kill me now. I'm gonna have to show you. Oh, come on. Shadows in an empty room. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. Blazing Magnum, a.k.a. Shadows in an Empty Room. Kind of a weird film. It's not initially what I thought it was going to be, based on the title of the alternate title, uh, Shadows in an Empty Room, but it was still good. Uh, this is just a fun, like, western... Uh, it stars freaking what's his name Willie Nelson and Gary Busey, so it's it's cool. It's a unique film, western. Uh, Hollywood Boulevard, haven't seen this one. Want to check it out though? Kind of. Excellent release. This is a Kino Lorber and Scorpion uh, co-release. Really love this film, starring an early performance from Jodie Foster and Martin Sheen. Uh, it's from 1976. The Little Girl Who Lives Down the Lane. I highly recommend that movie. Uh, another awesome film. This is Kino Lorber. Okay, so now we're getting into, I think, the Kino... Well, maybe not. It's a mess, guys. Um, Kino Lorber slash Scorpion. Really, really good film. Amazing performance from uh, Kelly Preston in this. A Chance Encounter, A Dream Come True. A Man Would Do Anything for a Girl Like Miranda. Uh, Unholy Passion, Endless Terror. These are like the sub or the movie tags. It's, it's a good one. Highly recommend it. Another awesome one, Mortuary. I love this film. Very, very good. I love The Killer. I don't want, want to spoil who it is. Um, but just an amazing performance. Again, we have Christopher and Linda Day George. Bill Paxton, the fucking man. Rest in peace. I love his performance in this movie. Unique, too. For him. Uh, so, so, Sorority House Massacre, you know, very similar to Slumber Party Massacre. It's in the vein of all those 80s cheese ball, girls in bikini slasher flicks. Good stuff. Fun. Just not one of the better ones. My favorite release right here from Scorpion Films. I love this movie. This is the alternate cover artwork. You guys are probably familiar with the classic cover artwork. Uh, I like this artwork. I thought it was fun. Even though the classic artwork is better. I'll be the first to admit that. This film is phenomenal. In so many ways, it's so much more than just a slasher film. It's more of like a study on... It's it's more of like a take on a man who's insane and it just shows... It's just amazing. It's a, a great portrayal of a fictional psychopath. So, great stuff. Highly recommend it. And the method in which he kills the women is just... Bam. Primo. No knives are used in that one. Haunting Morella. Pretty good film. Not bad. 
I made this actually a DVD Blu-ray combo pack because I had the DVD as well. Uh, and then I upgraded to blue. It's a Roger Corman production, um, The Haunting of Morella. It's not bad. It's a. Uh, it's made to feel more, I think, like a Hammer film um, from 1990. Maybe not, but uh, what am I trying to say? It's a ghost story, so it's a little bit different for a different feel, I think, for Roger Corman. But it's fun. Good atmosphere. Uh, next up, another amazing release. Um, <laughs> well, should I go out of order here? Yeah, I guess. Um, this is probably my third favorite Scorpion release. I love, or I don't even know what I'm saying. I love this movie so much. Such a good slasher film. Look at the, the jester there, Eric. Whoa, I'm sorry. Killer there on the back. Sorry, you can't really... See it good because it's not focusing, but um, amazing. One of my favorite releases. Great slasher film. Check it out. House on Sorority Row. Great atmos atmosphere. Um, yes, The Monster Club. I actually haven't watched this yet. Shame on me. I'll be the first to say it. Can't wait to check this one out. Um, we do have The Devil Within Her. Haven't watched this one either, guys. Uh, who's in this? Donald Pleasance, Joan Collins, Carolyn Monroe. I gotta watch this soon because I love all those actors and actresses. Uh, this one's awesome, humongous. Uh, I guess I don't have... I thought I had the DVD, but it's a really fun... Um, it reminds me of The Beast Within a little bit. Um, the character is like this... I don't know. Woman gets raped in the beginning of the film. And... Basically bears like this monstrous child. And she's like, I don't know. This group, fast forward many years, group of kids go, come to the island. And they fall prey to... Humongous. It also reminds me of Hell Knight. Uh, it's just a really good, um, not creature feature, but like beast slasher movie. I don't know how to, I could probably describe it better than that for sure, but it's great. Humongous. Check it out. Silent Scream. Another great one. This is the uh, Blu-ray with the slipcover upgrade. So I got to watch this one again because I remember enjoying it, but I'm for the life of me, I can't explain it right now, but it's good. Uh, then we have another so-so slasher. Love the cover artwork on this. Cheesy Flicks had an edition of this put out, and then uh, we finally got this. I like this film, Savage Weekend, It's but to me, it's kind of like, um, um, uh, I'm drawing a blank now. Arrow put it out snow theme setting i don't know it's like it's a good slasher it's a or a, like a second or third tier slasher um but yeah good 80s cheese it's gonna kill me now that i can't remember the name of it i feel like they have similar titles too similar movies similar titles and guys uh i think that's everything aside from this queen of blood will end with a um kino lorber Slash Scorpion release. Uh, sorry I couldn't get into a lot of detail in this update, but for time's sake, I had to keep it moving. So, uh, hope you all have a great night. Thanks for checking out my Scorpion, uh, Scorpion films and Kino Lorber Slash Scorpion Blu-ray collection. I'm going to do an update pretty soon, collection overview for Kino Lorber, because uh, I have a ton of Kinos and I haven't actually done an update for those. So, we'll get to it, but thanks again for watching. Catch you all. I uh, hope you all have a great night. Peace. Guys, so I would not be able to rest tonight if I didn't figure out what movie it was that Savage Harvest reminded me of. And so... The movie was this. The movie was Satan's fucking Blade. Good night.